The Veterans Committee assists veterans that belong to Labor's International Union. Uh, we assist veterans from Iraq, uh, Afghanistan, Vietnam, World War II. And uh, we try to get them into the uh, VA hospital system if they're not already in there. Uh, we like to make them be known of the, uh, the benefits they have coming through the VA and just generally assist them in anything that, that we can to uh, provide for their, uh, for their health and welfare. It's always been the, uh, the philosophy, I guess, of the Labor's International Union to take care of our own people. And we've found that a lot of people coming back from the wars, especially Afghanistan and Iraq, were kind of lost. They didn't know exactly uh, what benefits they had coming, and, uh, and they didn't want to really get into the mainstream of the VA activity. So we were helped to facilitate their, their coming home and, and, and getting benefits and, and back into the society. As a veteran member, there are no dues. The only requirement is that you have served in one of the branches of the service and you're a member in good standing or have been in Labor's International Union. Our first major uh, trip, I guess, was to Washington, D.C. It was a four-day trip uh, that we took. I believe there was 23 veterans and their uh, guest to uh, Washington. We visited the World War II Museum, the uh, Vietnam Veterans Wall, uh, Lincoln's Tomb, uh, the International Headquarters Convention, and it was quite an experience. It's, it's one of the best things I've ever done. We have a board of directors of nine members uh, who meet every other month to discuss the needs of, of the veterans and our members. And uh, right now we are working on another trip for, to Washington, D.C. for the Korean War veterans. And uh, we're involved in, in, of course, politics and, and making sure that we uh, help our friends who, who help the veterans and who help the laborers.